Welcome to SmackDown Live. with loved ones we welcome you to the final smackdown live of 2016 and guys what a way to get things started with the return of the 15-time wwe champion uh, he did an incredible job hosting starting out live but there is nothing like when the 15-time world champion comes to chicago Let it rain, let it rain. I missed the hell out of this. It's chaos. I don't even know what you're saying, but thank you. I don't care what you do, I don't care where you go, there is nothing like the excitement of the WWE Universe. And there are very few places that compete with the excitement of the All-State Arena. Whether you're the Wrigley crowd or whether you're from the South Side, no doubt about it, Chicago is the city of champions. And WWE recognizes that, so tonight you will be given championship matches. The Tag Team Championship is on the line. The Women's Championship is on the line. The WWE Championship is on the line here tonight. Who will be the WWE Champion to close out 2016? Will it be Dolph Ziggler? Sounds like you guys ain't giving him much of a chance. 
You just remember, I know from experience, that one kick can change the course of history. Will it be Baron Corbin? Now, I know you guys straight up don't like him, but that's okay, because he probably doesn't like you either. But just remember, that doesn't mean he can't walk out of here a champion tonight. Or will it be... the phenomenal one, AJ Styles! Well, it sounds and looks like we got a few AJ Styles fans in the house tonight. You can actually add me to that list. Because the champ that runs the camp has made a year out of telling people they don't want none. They don't want none. But tonight, can he do it one more time? We will see. So with a star-studded championship main event, that brings me to the question, what the hell am I doing here? You know, hearing that makes me think a lot of people have been speculating and planning my future. And 2016 wasn't exactly a super year for Super Cena, if you know what I'm saying. Because I heard things like that, but I also heard that I'm, I'm damaged goods, I'm washed up. Hell, I've been called a part-timer. There's a lot of superstars that already say I got one foot out the door and I'm gone to Hollywood, never to come back. What am I doing here tonight? I'm setting the record straight. I'm not done. I'm not leaving. And I'm sick of this new era BS. It ain't the new era. It's the My Time Is Now era! Never give up means that when you get knocked down like I did this year, you don't stay down, you get up, you fire up, and you kick ass! Get up, you fire up, and you kick ass! So what am I doing tonight? I'm watching the main event very close, because whoever wins, I challenge them to a championship match at the Royal Rumble. Oh, 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 I know what you're thinking. I can't do that. I just did. Why? Because I'm John Cena, recognized. And thank God we have him right here on SmackDown Live. He's staying, and I agree with him. The new era is BS. And John Cena just dropped a bombshell that at Royal Rumble. You thought it couldn't get any bigger, it just did. John Cena's going after the... This is what I'm talking about. We're kicking off the Tag Team Championship right now. We are set for a four-quarters elimination SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. 
One member of each of two teams will start. Anyone can be tagged in by anyone else. When a superstar is pinned, his team is eliminated. The team that records the final pinfaller submission will walk out of Chicago. SmackDown Tag Team Champions walking into Chicago as SmackDown Tag Team title holders. The proverbial lump of coal in your stocking. The wicked Wyatt family comprised of the man who goes bump in the night, Bray Wyatt. The Puck Nation's Luke Harper and 12-time WWE Champion Randy Orton. They are defending under free birth rules, David. They are. I don't think it matters which two of them are in this match. Yeah, but they got to defend against the former champions. He's Slater and Rhino, American Alpha. All and the Usos in a four-corner elimination match. Hey, guys, this could be the hottest SmackDown of the year. We're just kicking off. This is awesome. A triumvirate of title matches at stake tonight. We begin with a four-corner SmackDown tag team elimination match next. Rated PG. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm just trying to get a word with the Miz. Miz, after what? No. Tonight, I'll only be answering questions asked by that unprofessional journalist who slapped me last week, Renee Young. So if you want the scoop, I recommend you go find her. Thank you. Serve the Hornets last last week with the A-lister. Time to pay the piper. 13,145 members of the WWE Universe have sold out All-State Arena in Chicago. We kick things off with a four-quarters elimination Which, tag by the match. way, Morrow, let's bring up Monday Night Raw was here last night. It's the SmackDown Live out through Monday Night Raw. That tells you right there who the A-show is. Well, we're about to find out who the A-tag team is on SmackDown Live as the tag team championships at stake in a four corners elimination match. And David, the new Wyatt family defending under free bird rules, explain that. That's right, so two members, and it can be any two members of the team, get in and defend the titles. And this is the same rule that the New Day used in setting their record reign as well. And it looks like it will be Luke Harper and Randy Orton representing the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. It's Rhino getting things started against one half of American Alpha, Chad Gable. Of course, Rhino and Heath Slater were the inaugural SmackDown Tag Team Champions. And they held on to the titles for a long time. I know Heath's got kids who just spent a lot of money on those Christmas gifts, so he would love a championship paycheck right about now. Ooh! Ooh. And it could be just a couple of gores away from walking out of here. SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions again. I think that was a great strategy by having Rhino start as well. He's the biggest guy in this match. Chad Gable always ready, willing, and Gable, U.S. Olympian. Oh, oh, yeah. Suplex with a bridge. How impressive was that? Show of strength by Gable, and there was a tag made, and in comes Jey Uso quick for the cover. Jey Uso ground and pound on Rhino. Look at this show of strength by Chad Gable. Oh, man. Yeah, an incredible wow. leverage by the former Olympian. Oh. On a recent edition of Talking Smack, Jey Uso talking about his ankle injury that put the Usos on the sidelines, but they want to prove they have too much sauce for the SmackDown Tag Team Division. Former two-time champions and the tag made, Jay. And now Jimmy Uso goes for the cover, gets a two. Two-time Slammy Tag Team Champion of the Year as well. Uso showcasing a new aggressive attitude in 2016 as Jay Uso at the uppercut, back pressed by Jimmy Uso. And again, a near fall as the Usos. And look how smoothly the Usos work together. I mean, the frequent tags, each one knows what the other one's gonna do before they do it. Yeah, the, well, actually, they are the most experienced tag team in this Four Corners Elimination Tag Team match. Yeah, they've been twins for a long time, Mara. <laughs> come on, baby, come on. From, from what I understand, since an early age. Oh, and there's Jay Uso with a hand full of follicles, bringing the man beast back down to the canvas. So a good start by the Usos. 
the Wyatts are down there having some kind of a powwow, though. I'm sure they're content to, to see the other teams very beat each other up. Four corners elimination. You can't win this thing early in this match because you can certainly lose it. Just stand back, watch. Let everybody fight. Be there at the end. That's how you walk out tag team champion. Short arm clothesline by Rhino. Window of opportunity for Rhino to make a tag to his partner. There's my man. He's he slid Rhino from the top. The Red Dragon. Slater went undrafted, but what a Cinderella run he had in 2016. High knee lift and a leg warrior. Lowbreaker by the one man band goes for the lateral press, hooks the leg, and Jimmy Uso kicks up. Close. Slater and Rhino, inaugural tag team champions, but Jimmy Uso turning the tables quick. And Slater drop kicks Jey Uso off the apron and again going up to the high rent district. Whoa, and he fell. Slipped off the turnbuckle. Oh, and man. a super kick from Jimmy Uso. Jackknife cover. And East Slater and Rhino have been eliminated. That's why they call it high rent. East Slater and Rhino have been eliminated. Who will walk out of All State Arena SmackDown Tag Team Champions? You're watching a Four Corners Elimination SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. Inaugural SmackDown Tag Team title holders, Heath Slater and Rhino, have already been ousted. Yeah, this is why you see that when in tag team matches, you see guy goes to a neutral corner to climb the ropes because those ropes get sweaty, those ropes get oily, and that's what happened to Heath Slater. He slipped off that rope because you don't have that option in a Four Corner Elimination match. Fell, he made a mistake. See ya. And of course, when a superstar is pinned, his team is eliminated. And an ample amount of antipathy. Bray Wyatt, the leader of the new Wyatt family, the current SmackDown Tag Team Champions watching on. But David, no love lost between the Usos and American Alpha. The Usos put Chad Gable on the sidelines earlier this year. Yeah, they sure did. They have a bad history between them. When American Alpha beat the Usos in the Tag Team uh, Tournament, it was the Usos who jumped Gable after the fact and put him out for a number of weeks. These guys have been waiting to get their hands on each other. Yeah, Jason Usos. Jordan, that's the tag. You're right, it's taking exception to the fact that they, people praise the American Alpha so much because the Usos have been the cream of the crop in the tag team division for so long. Ah! Wow! Oh! Alpha Plex by Gable, baseball slide, and that kept Jey Uso from being pinned. Hey, one, one thing we have not seen, we have not seen anybody of the Wyatt family get in this match yet. In fact, during the break for the first time, Luke Harper and Randy Orton got on the apron in tag position. Terrific, stra terrific strategy by Bray Wyatt. And remember, anyone can be tagged in by anyone else as the Usos get caught. Oh! And double overhead. <laughs> belly to belly. Alpha plexes by American Alpha. The Wyatt's are letting these other guys beat the hell out of each other. It's good strategy. Oh! Gable looking for that sunset flip, but shoulders down by Jay Uso. Reversal jackknife cover. Oh, we got him. The Usos have been eliminated. The Usos have been eliminated. Now the Wyatts have to get in. A piece of comeuppance there. A measure of revenge for Chad Gable, who gets ambushed by Luke Harper. We are down to the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the new Wyatt family, oh, represented by Randy Orton and Luke Harper. Get the Usos out of here. They've already been eliminated. Against American Alpha. Last much longer. Harper the Wyatt's just tossing are... Jason Jordan into the barricade. And don't forget, the Wyatts are completely fresh. It's the first time they're getting into the match. And out there against a 12-time world champion, the current tag team champion, Randy Orton, this is not a place that you want to be if you're beaten up like Jason Jordan is right now. And the Orton stomp as Randy Orton picks him up by the arm. Oh, and Jason Jordan out to try on the top rope. Hey, back, and ever since hey, Orton joined hey, the Wyatt hey, family, they have been a wrecking crew, resulting in them defeating Heath Slater and Rhino for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Remember, Orton and Bray Wyatt leading the SmackDown Live men's team division at the Survivor Series. 
I don't know if the White family's ever been better, John. All day! No, they've never been better. Because you look at the White family, how dominant they were, and they added a guy like Randy Orton. Are you kidding me? It's the most dominant families we've ever had in WWE. Oh, oh, power slam by Orton on Jason Jordan. Side press. Pops away. Oh, Jordan is scared. this. Jason this. Jordan is a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete. But Randy Orton is toying with Jason Jordan right now. Huge edge in experience for Randy Orton, but Jason Jordan and Chad Gable, since forming a tandem, have wow. greatness written all over them. And David, what, what is it going to take for American Alpha to withstand this kind of punishment being dished out by the likes of Randy Orton? Uh, yeah, pretty much a miracle. I mean, normally what I would say is they need to stick to their amateur wrestling background, but man, they've been through it already, and the Wyatts are coming in fresh. Standing drop kick by Jason Jordan, buying himself some valuable time to recover. Luke Harper, I don't believe, has officially even been in this match yet. Here he comes, Gable. And Luke Harper, driving cross body block by Chad Gable, and Gable going after Orton. Gable trying to knock the big man off his wow. Look at the power of Chad Gable, German suplex with a bridge. How strong is Gable? My gosh. Oh. Oh. And there, the new Wyatt family utilizing their mind games and diversions. This tag team title elimination match continues. Oh, this could be it. Trapped by Harper. SmackDown Tag Team Championship at stake in this Four Corners Elimination match. It's down to the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the new Wyatt family, and American Alpha. Look at the strength of Chad Gable. Absolutely incredible. Follows it up with a perfect bridge. Luke Harper too strong, though. Ray Wyatt just enough to create a diversion. And Harper capitalizes. Oh, hey. They don't teach you that at the NCAA. And Luke Harper with a side headlock employed on Chad Gable. Harper and Randy Orton representing the new Wyatt family, a cohesive unit. I don't like showing these Matt wrestling boys a boot in the mouth. How about a back elbow to the mush there, courtesy of the bearded brawler from the backwoods in Harper. Oh, catapult and Gables larynx wow. right into the rope. Luke Harper using his environment to maximum effect, David. Look at this. Whip, whiplash. My goodness. Gable doesn't look like he knows where he is. And when Gable finds out where he is, he's certainly not going to like it. He just had his Adam's apple driven into his gut. Probably easier to digest food that way. Harper again deposits Gable to the outside. And look, I, I can't say it enough. The, the Miss American Alpha, they're an incredible team. They're a great team. Randy Orton dropping Gable back first on the top of the barricade. But they are being decimated. And again! By the Wyatt family right now. The Orton onslaught continues, rolls Gable into the ring, and Orton goes for the back press. Rather lackadaisical cover that results in Gable kicking out as the Viper continues, and next time he hangs Gable out to dry. I don't think Randy Orton does everything calculated. I think that cover was calculated just like this was calculated. Six shot suplex there by Randy Orton. Still in it. Still in it. Stay down. What a force the new Wyatt family has proven to be as Randy Orton just dominating Chad Gable. And the problem you have right now, if you're Chad Gable, is if you're waiting on Randy Orton to make a mistake, you may be waiting a long time. As Gable needs to use every last bit of energy he has to get over there, Tag Jordan. Tag was made, and in comes Luke Harper, and he and by the taunts looks, Jason Jordan. By the looks of Jordan, he's a little worse for the wear, too. Michinoku driver by Harper. Shoulders are down for a two count. Oh, gator roll by Luke Harper. That is a strange <laughs> man, Luke Harper. Strange, but so skilled, John. Need Rick Grimes to counter that. 
For such a big man, David, so light on his feet. Luke Harper acquitted himself very well in that oh. four quarters number one contest. Yes, match I mean, the guy's the WWE a, Championship. He's incredibly agile. I think he thinks that he's a cruiserweight. Of course, Cruiserweights coming up on 205. Wow! WWE Network swinging sidewalk slam. Harper with the lateral press on a two kill. Still in it. You gotta give Gable credit. I mean, this guy has unparalleled endurance. And right now, Gable's just doing everything he can to stay in the match for his team. Gable, yes. Oh! And he sends Luke Harper face first into the turnbuckle. A desperation move by Gable, who will try to crawl his way to his corner and make a much-needed tag to I Jordan. The only chance he gets. Oh, Orton has made the tag, and so has Jordan. Incredible athleticism out of Jason Jordan. And straight. Wow. Overhead, belly to belly, alpha plex, and Jason Jordan and Fuego. Final oh. suplex by Jason Jordan. Lateral oh, press. Oh, and Harper in to rescue Orton. Incredible action here in this four quarters tag team elimination match. Who will emerge SmackDown tag team champions? Whoa! Cannonball off the apron by Gable. Oh! And Jordan wipes out. The leader of the Wyatt family, Bray Wyatt. And Jason Jordan walking into vintage Randy Orton. Draping DDT. Can't remember who used to say that. Some announcer somewhere. 13,145 fans selling out Allstate Arena. Electrified by the action. Gable knocks Harper off the apron. Randy Orton now going after Gable. Oh! What? Orton just knocked Harper off the apron. Oh, missile drop just... kick from the top turnbuckle by Gable. I think it's the other way around. Harper came in there to, to help Randy and his and by mistake. Oh, wait, wait. Was the one that brought Randy off that top turnbuckle. Oh, Randy! You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Carver has a miscommunication with Randy Orton. American Alpha capitalized. And they just beat the team that we thought might be unbeatable. And they're now oh, the hard work, everything they've oh, been through. How emotional is this for right now? Come with emotion, shedding tears of joy. What a journey it has been for two of the best athletes on SmackDown Live. American Alpha, the new Alpha tag team. Oh, but look what happened. Orton is trying to help, I think, and then inadvertently knocked Orton off the ropes. Jason Jordan saw the opportunity, and believe me, it was the opportunity of a lifetime. They just pinned a 12-time world champion, the former tag team champion, to get the SmackDown Live Championships, their first right here on SmackDown Live. Meanwhile, wait a minute. Ray White was playing peacekeeper, but right there, your SmackDown Live champions. Superstars are a part of the Rumble. No, I can't either. Main reason, look, this is the road to WrestleMania. That's where it begins. But what is waiting at the Automodome is John Cena, whoever wins that triple threat match for the WWE Championship tonight. And let's show you how we got to this triple threat match here tonight. AJ Styles was supposed to defend one-on-one -on -one against Dolph Ziggler, but it was last week on SmackDown Live. Dolph Ziggler would put it all at risk as he faced off against Baron Corbin. The winner would get the opportunity for the WWE Championship. Yeah, look, I admire the bravado of Dolph Ziggler are doing this. I'm not sure how smart this was because what Dolph ended up with was the fact that Daniel Bryan would come down and make a decision on this disqualification. AJ, you want some real competition? Well, guess what? Next week, it will be Dolph Ziggler 
versus AJ Styles versus Baron Corbin in a triple threat championship match. Dolph, last week you took a big risk when you put your WWE title match on the line against Baron Corbin. Now tonight you're facing Baron Corbin and AJ Styles in a triple threat match for the WWE Championship. Yeah, Renee, last week Baron Corbin came looking for a fight. And you know what, he got one. Uh, was that one of the smartest decisions of my career to put that opportunity on the line? Probably not. But some of the most fun nights I've had in my entire life are chopped up to bad decisions, you know what I'm saying, Renee? So here we go. Triple threat, WWE Championship. We got the lone wolf, Baron Corbin, the most metal athlete of the year. He's got that going for him, which is nice. And we got the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, the top of his game, the WWE Champion. So where does that leave me? Where does that leave me, Renee? Opportunity after opportunity has just barely slipped through my fingers over and over, and it eats me up inside. Every night of my life, I stay awake thinking about what I can do, when I can make it happen, when's it gonna happen for me? So maybe, just maybe, that makes me the wild card in this deck. A lot of hands get thrown away. The wild card gets your hopes up, gets you a couple bonus points. At the end of the night, you fold. But every once in a while, every once in a thousand tries, every once in a thousand lifetimes and blue moons, every once in a great while, that wild card, that wild card changes the whole damn game. Please welcome my guest at this time, James Ellsworth. James, you've overcome so many obstacles in your life so far. Does it ever get you down when people make fun of you? Well, I get it. I look kind of different. I only weigh like 156 pounds. I'm pretty scrawny. And people tend to make fun of my face too, you know, being chinless and all. So to be quite honest, Ashna, yeah, sometimes it brings me down. How's your recovery coming along so far? Hey, 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 hey. What the hell are you doing? Don't you realize that by asking him these questions, you're making fun of him, Dasha? Now, unlike you and all those other trolls, I find James Ellsworth uniquely attractive. Come on, James. Uniquely attractive. I find him an abomination of nature. What the hell is wrong with Carmella? Is she blind? Guess there's somebody for everybody. What? Here comes the SmackDown Women's Champion, the Wicked Witch of WWE, Alexa Bliss. Granted, the avid country singer hit the right note when she became champion by putting arch rival Becky Lynch through a table in their tables title match at the WWE TLC Tables, Ladders, and Chairs pay-per-view earlier this month, but she's done her best to avoid Becky Lynch since then. Well, she can't avoid her any longer. It'll be Alexa Bliss versus Becky Lynch, SmackDown Women's title on the line next. Remember the rumble, the San Antonio Alamo Dome. That is where we are headed, and John Cena is waiting on the champion of the triple threat match tonight. But before that, we have the SmackDown Women's Championship on the line. And here comes the challenger, Becky Lynch. <laughs> what that you've been waiting for. Prime, focused, and there's nowhere for Alexa to run. She's finally got her back in her corner. No more ducking, no more dodging. Time to put up her shutout. Becky Lynch was the inaugural SmackDown Women's Champion, winning a six-pack elimination challenge against Alexa Bliss. Carmella, Naomi, Natalia, Nikki Bella at Backlash back in September, but she lost the title to Bliss in the tables match. And the rivalry continues to heat up, Tom. Uh, in the meantime, Becky Lynch has enjoyed seeing Alexa Bliss be humiliated. Alexa Bliss actually was forced to compete or else be stripped of her title last week on SmackDown Live. And La Luchadora would use some very familiar tactics here to take out Alexa Bliss via submission. Yeah, La Luchadora. 
should have been arrested. And lo and behold, La Luchadora was Becky Lynch all along, and the SmackDown Women's Champion stunned by Becky Lynch, who looks to make it a two-time champion tonight. The following contest scheduled for one fall is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. And her opponent from Columbus, Ohio, she is the SmackDown Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. One of the hottest rivalries on SmackDown Live, the SmackDown Women's Championship at stake. Little Miss Bliss with a big chip on her shoulder defending the title against the Irish last kicker, Becky Lynch. Once again, it's why we're the A Show. The greatest television show in the world, SmackDown Live. Sold out here at All State Arena in Chicago. It was sold out last night for Monday Night Raw. We just drew a little bit more people tonight for SmackDown Live. 13,145 members of the WWE Universe watching Becky Lynch challenge Alexa Bliss for the SmackDown Women's Championship and a quick start by Lynch. How smooth was that by Becky Lynch? She's, a great, yeah, she's an incredible competitor. There was a reason that she was the first ever SmackDown Live. Right the right the whole thing. Women's draft pick. Women's draft pick, SmackDown Live, women's champion. And looking to become the first two-time. First two-time, you're right. Women's queen as Alexa Bliss wants to reset. Of course, Bliss, Bliss did her best to... Dodge Becky Lynch's challenge of SmackDown Live GM Daniel Bryan, though, making sure that she would defend the championship. Well, look at this. The A Show is now the number one trend worldwide. SmackDown Live. And another thing of note, too. You know, Alexa has to be nervous tonight because let's not forget, last week, Becky just proved that she can make her tap out with the disarmor. Or shall I say La Luchadora? Well, I think she was a little surprised by the fact that the La Luchadora pulled something like that out of her arsenal. I think Becky Lynch a little was uh, a little over assumed how uh, under assumed her, her opponent how good she was. Well, jockeying for position, that. Becky Lynch sent for the wide shoulder tackle by the challenger, the Irish last kicker. When you're the champion, you always have to be ready. You can't take anybody lightly. Sunset flip, but block countered by Bliss. Reversal by Lynch. Jack Knight covered by Alexa Bliss. And man, they are going tip for tat here for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Oh, and a near fall there for Becky Lynch. Just takes a three count. Leg sweep by Bliss. Cover beautiful matrix escape by Becky Lynch and the back kick. Oh, looking for that. Trying to get it. Cross arm breaker. She missed it at first, but then she's Becky Lynch has gotten it. Alexa's okay. got it blocked. Got the, the S grip. Oh, and finally, Bliss able to put Becky Lynch's shoulders down momentarily. Wait, wait. Oh, Bliss flips Lynch over. These two know each other so well. STO by Alexa Bliss. Bliss just a barrage of blows to the back of Becky Lynch. Rolls her over, lateral press, but a quick kick out by Becky Lynch. You talk strategy about someone that you have faced numerous times, John, you being in with all of the greats. You're a SmackDown legend. What, what does Becky Lynch need to do here to, to become a two-time champion? The same thing as she did to become the inaugural SmackDown Women's Champion. She's got to turn this into a wrestling match. That is what Becky Lynch's forte is. That's what made her champion. That's what she has to do here. Remember, Alexa Bliss has the champion's advantage here. Meaning that Becky has to pin or submit Alexa in the ring. Disqualification, anything else, goes to Alexa Bliss. She retains the championship. Covered by Bliss. 
Conversely, David, Alexa Bliss showing her confidence, dare I say her cockiness. That, that could be a problem, though. You don't want to be overconfident. I know what Alexa Bliss needs to do, though, and that's she needs to make sure that Becky Lynch doesn't get a hold of her arm. Whatever she does, don't let Becky get that arm. It's going to be over. And those clubbing forearms from the SmackDown Women's Champion beating down Becky Lynch as Bliss fills her ears with trash talk. Bliss lateral press hooks a leg, gets a one count again. Yeah, and you're right, David. Remember, even in Glasgow, when they had the championship match, oh. Becky Lynch had that arm bar, and Alexa Bliss, even though the referee made a mistake, she was in the ropes, she was tapping out. Becky Lynch has made Alexa Bliss tap every time she's gotten her in that arm bar. Becky Lynch showcasing her straight fire. I got to give credit to Bliss, though. That was smart by her rolling out of the ring there. Baseball slide. Oh! Now bring it in the ring. Bliss avoiding it, and Bliss now again just... Those clubbing forearms to the spine of Becky Lynch, beating her down on the outside. Now look, that is the tenacity that has made Alexa Bliss the champion. She saw Becky Lynch, she sought that championship for months. When she finally got the opportunity, she has developed into quite the SmackDown Live Women's Champion. And every time Becky Lynch seems to find a key to success, Alexa Bliss changing the locks, but now Becky Lynch with Bliss. And again, Bliss. Turning the tables and driving Becky Lynch face first into the post. Will Alexa Bliss retain the SmackDown Women's Championship? Becky's hurt. SmackDown Women's Championship up for grabs here on the final SmackDown Live of 2016. The champion Alexa Bliss, the challenger, former champion Becky Lynch, and Five Feet of Fury is taking it to the Irish last kicker, John. She certainly is, and you asked before the break, what does it take a, to Alexa Bliss to win? Exactly what Alexa's doing right here. Cover here by the champion. She needs to turn this into her type of match. Now that is what Alexa Bliss has done. Becky's had very little offense this entire match. Alexa Bliss tweeted out that Becky Lynch tried embarrassing her last week. She said that tonight, payback will be a bliss. Meanwhile, Becky Lynch said she wanted to be the first SmackDown Live Women's Champion. She says she needs to be the next one, David. Yes, she does. She's thought about nothing else oh. but reclaiming the SmackDown Women's Championship. And here she comes right now. Hat trick of European uppercuts. Running lariats by Becky Lynch and a leg lariat. And if you're Alexa, this is not what you want Becky Lynch to be doing. Getting on a roll here late in this match. Straight fire. Oh, she misses with the flying firearm and springboard kick. Didn't miss with that. Oh. Going Alexa. for that big exploder. Yes, Alexa Bliss, though. Alexa having done her homework. The, Alexa went for that DDT. Wait, wait, wait. Becky hooked the ropes and... Oh! 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 Wow. Trap! And she just tried to rip the arm out of the socket of the SmackDown Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss! You see how her arm bends? have. And Becky Lynch turning up the aggression. <laughs> Becky Lynch wanting to make a statement en route to becoming a two-time SmackDown Women's Champion. Oh, but Alexa Bliss gets back up to her feet. Yeah, a window of opportunity there, and Alexa Bliss took advantage, but counter after counter by both. They know each other extremely well. Oh! Drop kick from the top turnbuckle, but Becky Lynch landing hard on her back, able to roll over the champion. Back press, hooks the leg! The hell? What the? It's a, it's a luch it's luchador? It can't be. Meanwhile, Becky Lynch trying to put away Alexa Bliss. Oh, schoolgirl! What in the she world? Backslide by Becky Lynch on Alexa Bliss. One count. What? Oh, rolling crucifix. Becky Lynch doing her best to put away Alexa Bliss. Oh, what a... What a forearm shot by the SmackDown Women's Champion. 
Oh! 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 Insult to injury by Alexa Bliss. Back press. Becky Lynch kicks out. Well, last week we saw La Luchadora's. It was a ruse. It was Becky Lynch dressed up as La Luchadora. This what week Luchador we're seeing this. I can tell you it's not Becky Lynch. Alexa Bliss. High risk. A oh, twisted Bliss, but right on to the knees of Becky Lynch. Roll up by Lynch. Two count. Oh, Becky There's Lynch, look at Fucking the disarmor. Look at the cinch in the disarmor. The, the, the foot. Alexa Bliss foot on the rope. The referee saw it. It was right there. Becky wisely used that just, count, though. That's right, but the Alexa oh just God. saved her champion. Oh, oh good grief! Oh, Bro, she's broke! Wow. Now, Becky, oh. oh! Becky Lynch driven into that exposed area of the turnbuckle. DDT by Alexa Bliss! And Alexa Bliss retains the SmackDown Women's Championship. What about that? What, is she, what about her arm? What about her that? And still, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. Uh, Alexa had to put her arm back it, it, in it, socket. Looked like he was dislocated. The thing was completely really? dislocated. Talk about a valiant effort by Alexa Bliss. But who's this Luchadora? Alexa Bliss retaining the SmackDown Women's Championship yeah, with yeah, yeah. a, a little on. help still, from La still, Luchadora. Who is this La Luchadora? We still don't know who this is. Look at this, earlier in the match. Oh. It looked like that's what set everything up, I believe, right there by Becky Lynch. And after escaping this armbar, look at this. Look at that look arm. Look at that. This thing oh, is dislocated. It looks horribly broken. But then there was this, La Luchadora inserts herself in this while Alexa's popping her elbow back in place or whatever happened. Unbelievable. And she used that arm that was dislocated to hook the leg of Becky Lynch. We can't question the guts of Alexa Bliss, that's for sure. Excuse me, Alexa, who was that woman? I don't know. Last year I knew she was uh, on ringside. I mean, judging by the size of her, could be Sasha Banks. Come on. She was considerably bigger than Sasha Banks. Yeah, you're right. Holly Nia Jax. I don't understand anything that just happened. Oh. I see Alexa Bliss with her arm looks horribly broken, dislocated. Next thing I know, she's using that arm to hook the leg of Becky Lynch. We got some La Luchadora running around here. Nobody knows who she is. I can tell you she's not Nia Jax. Uh, Definitely little, not Nia Jax. Yeah, a little bit of a confusing situation. Uh, right now, let's try and gather ourselves here. Uh, this was another unsettling moment that happened last week on SmackDown Live after The Miz had defended it, his Intercontinental Championship. Our broadcast colleague, Renee Young, tried to get a word in with The Miz. Miz, congratulations on your victory tonight. However, last week it seemed like your obsession with Dean Ambrose had gotten the way during your Fatal 4-Way match for the number one contendership. My, my obsession with Dean Ambrose? My, my obsession with Dean Ambrose? You're the one sleeping with him. Oh. The Miz going completely over the line and Renee Young slapping the Intercontinental Champion on SmackDown Live. Can I handle this? Please? Please? Aren't you going to ask me a question? Maybe how I skull question finale to Dean Ambrose last week? Will you quit breathing on me? Get out of my shot. Go. All of you. Out. Shoot. Shoot. Thank you. 
2016 was a year of resurgence for you. How do you plan on following that up in 2017? Oh, yes, 2016, I deserve a huge round of applause. But 2017 will be the year of the Miss. Only on E. Don't miss Total Divas one week from tomorrow night only on E. But guys, we've had a lot of fun here. The SmackDown Live Wildcard Finals and uh, still to come, the triple threat match with the WWE Championship. But things haven't exactly been all uh, copacetic amongst everybody over the last few weeks. It was just last week on SmackDown Live, Carmella trying to get to the bottom of the rumors between Nikki Bella and Natalya. Now, did you or did you not tell me that somebody needs to teach Nikki a lesson? Did you? You are a dirty little Staten Island snitch. And Natalia would go after Carmella. Carmella trying to stir things up between Nikki and Natalia, longtime friends, and it certainly worked. I have always despised you. You're nothing just like these people here. You've got no charisma. My cat has more charisma than you. But you are a nothing. Nikki, we just saw what happened last week. How did it feel to have Natalia, a friend of almost a decade, betray you like that? You know, Dasha, I'm not ashamed of who I am. The more success you achieve, the more people want to knock you down. I became the longest reigning Divas champion by working my tail off every single night. And I came back from a career-threatening neck injury in less than 10 months. And it wasn't because of my looks. It was because of my determination. And you know what? I am damn proud to be a part of two hit reality TV shows. And most importantly, I am madly in love with the man of my dreams. But what about Natalia specifically? What I have to say to Natalia, I'm gonna say to Natalia's face. Excuse me, Baron. How much pressure are you feeling heading into your first ever WWE Championship match? Pressure? The only thing I'm feeling is impatient. I should have been recognized as a top star a long time ago. The only ones feeling any pressure is Dolph Ziggler and AJ Styles, the two little men about to meet the end of days. First time I saw Baron Corbin, I thought he'd be a world champion. The only question is, will he become that WWE champion tonight? And John, you make a good point. In the first SmackDown Live of 2017, when we roll through Jacksonville, Florida, will we have a new WWE champion? Could it be Baron Corbin? Could it be Dolph Ziggler? Or will AJ Styles come out on top here tonight? And the most metal athlete of the year, Baron Corbin, hopes to be like the heavy metal band Baroness and shock both AJ Styles and Dolph Ziggler to become WWE champion. And here comes a former two-time champion, David. And you heard Dolph earlier. He says he believes he's the wild card tonight. And hey, he admits it was a bad decision last week, but bad decisions have led to some of the best nights of his life. Hey, Dolph Ziggler, one of the greatest Money in the Bank cash-ins we've ever seen with a, you know, sole survivor at Survivor Series to a two-time world champion. Look, Dolph performs best when the pressure is on, and the pressure is on as high as it can be right now. 
Well, the pressure is on both Dolph Ziggler, Baron Corbin, and AJ Styles. Who will end 2016 as WWE Champion? Find out next. John, you want talking smack? Something about that sounds appropriate to me. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun. You know what sounds appropriate to me is ending the year 2016 final episode of SmackDown Live with a WWE Championship match. You're right, what a phenomenal year, pun intended for AJ Styles. Came in a WWE, he said he would beat John Cena, he did. He said he would beat John Cena and Dean Ambrose at the same time in a triple threat match. AJ Styles did, he's called his own shot. And how fitting is it now if AJ Styles can walk out of 2016 and to the Royal Rumble as the WWE Champion. In his first year as a WWE Superstar, AJ Styles has proven that his skills are challenger deep, hoping to finish the year WWE Champion, but facing formidable foes in both Dolph Ziggler and in his first opportunity at the WWE Championship, David, Baron Corbin. Yeah, let's not forget, last week, AJ Styles was a little nervous about facing Baron Corbin, and he was cheerleading for Dolph because he would much rather face him. Well, he's got them both tonight. And they have John Cena, whoever wins this, waiting for him at the Royal Rumble. Yeah, John Cena saying it's the oh, big time is now. Scheduled up. for one ball is a triple threat match, and it is for the WWE Championship. <laughs> Introducing the challengers. First from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds. He's the winner of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, Baron Corbin. Next, residing in Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler! And from Gainesville, Georgia, Weighing in at 218 pounds, who would like to be announced as the face that runs the place. He is the WWE Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Huge thanks to the denizens of Chicago for a terrific two nights here in the Windy City All-State Arena. Sold out tonight, 13,145 fans on hand. And they are amped for the WWE Championship match to be contested under triple threat rules. No disqualification. The only way you can become champion is via pinfall or submission. AJ Styles, WWE Champion. Baron Corbin attacking the champion. And Dolph Ziggler delivering the drop kick yep. to the Lone Wolf. And one thing that's very important is, uh, look, there's no champion's advantage. It's the first person to gain a pinfall or submission. The champion does not have to be involved in that finish to lose the championship. And of course, waiting in the wings at the Royal Rumble, the 15-time WWE Champion John Cena. From the San Antonio Alamo Dome, remember the Rumble. You thought it couldn't get any bigger? John Cena going for history. On the strength of Baron Corbin, but Ziggler lands on his feet. Corbin avoids the drop kick. Wow, that is a right hand. Golden Gloves champion on three different occasions, Baron Corbin. Yeah, you know, and Dolph talks about him being the wild card. I'm not sure it's not Baron Corbin. Who will walk out of Chicago? WWE champion SmackDown rolls on. Baron Corbin driving the WWE Champion AJ Styles into the corner. It's a triple threat match for the WWE title. AJ Styles defending against Corbin and Dolph Ziggler. And Baron Corbin has been an absolute one-man wrecking crew this entire match. And during the break, the Lone Wolf attempting to send the champion to the Ozone. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that that is is towering track body dropping. Corbin to assault both Ziggler and Styles. 
Baron Corbin's first crack at the WWE Championship, hoping to make the most of it here tonight on the final SmackDown Live of the year. Look, for his first title match, uh, I can remember my first title match very, very well. It was against Kevin Von Erich. I was as nervous as I could be. Baron Corbin is in complete control. And Corbin goes for the cover, and AJ Styles able to power out. Corbin's extremely confident. He said, these little guys need to be ready for me. Yeah. And that's exactly what he's been doing, is using his size to his advantage. You're right, David. Uh, Baron Corbin is mature beyond his years. Last week on Talking Smack, Baron Corbin, who just delivered a knee to the midsection of AJ Styles, he said that he would make Styles pay for the cavalcade of chair shots that Corbin absorbed at the hands of the champ that runs the camp. Can you imagine Baron Corbin wins the WWE Championship in his first ever title match, and he goes on to headline the Alamo Dome against John Cena going for history? Wow, Drew by Ziggler, rolling crucifix by Styles! And Dolph knew right away that he'd almost screwed up. <laughs> Triple threat rules. Pinfall or submission to determine a new WWE champion. AJ Styles does not have to lose to lose the title. Mid-air counter right there by AJ Styles when Dolph got him up for that suplex. We talk about the phenomenal year that AJ Styles has had. What about Dolph Ziggler putting his career on the line against the mid? Oh! And a double clothesline by the lone wolf. Explosive power, side press! Look at this explosion. <laughs> Former NFL football player Baron Corbin now putting the boots to Dolph Ziggler. And with each and every second, his confidence continues to grow, David. He knows he's the biggest man in this match. Did you see how he just ran through both of them? I mean, he had his pick. Which one to cover first? That rare combination of strength and power. Ah. It's what served Baron Corbin so well, and right now it can serve him up a WWE Championship. Of course, Dolph Ziggler, who had one of the hottest rivalries of the year with The Miz, would love to end the year as WWE champ. Champion for the third you time. You you're good enough? You're nobody! <laughs> He's in dire straits. Start him first into the corner. He is in dire straits, but let's go back to what Cena said. He said all it takes is one kick to change the course of history. Will we see that from Dolph Ziggler tonight? Of course, Baron Corbin promising the... It would be the end of days for both Ziggler and the WWE Champion AJ Styles, and it's been well documented. Maybe the greatest first year by any superstar in WWE history. Is that hyperbole, John, for AJ Styles? No, I don't believe it's hyperbole at all. AJ Styles has done everything. You talk about Chicago. Wrigley oh! Field, Field is where Bambino called his shot. AJ Styles has been doing that in WWE ever yeah. since he's been here. here oh, we go. Baron Corbin looking for the end of days, but it's blocked by AJ Styles. The wise oh. move by Styles. And Styles now saying, you want, don't want zero problems, big fella, but the big fella just drives Styles back first into the turnbuckle. Look, Baron Corbin has dominated this entire match. You talk about a great year. You know, Baron Corbin, the winner of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, oh. could close out the year, the WWE Champion. Look at Corbin looking to bury Oh, He was looking to bury both Ziggler and Styles, but Ziggler met him with a back elbow and a big boot by the WWE Champion. Look at that, the big man, Baron Corbin, still not down. Look at that. Oh! Lethal Lariat by Corbin! And an S modified STO by the Lone Wolf. Lateral press hooks the leg of the WWE Champion, but Styles escapes. Corbin, a one-man wrecking crew in this triple threat WWE Championship match. Hey. The stakes couldn't be higher to close out the year 2016 on SmackDown Live, the most prestigious prize in sports entertainment at stake, the WWE Championship in a triple threat match. And during the break... More of the same. Baron Corbin is absolutely dominating this match against the WWE Champion and the former two-time world champion, Dolph Ziggler. WWE Champion AJ Styles. And when it comes to Dolph Ziggler, Baron Corbin says he's not the show-off. He's just someone who steals opportunities and wastes them. And now it's Ziggler and Styles playing a game of ping-pong with Baron Corbin. Oh, I think Ziggler and Styles both know how dangerous Baron Corbin is. It's worth teaming up to get rid of the big man and then fight it out among themselves. It's a great strategy. Best chance they've got. Yes, so it is. So far, Baron's been all over both of them. Oh! 
And a temporary alliance results in Baron Corbin being eliminated for the moment again. Triple threat rules, no disqualification. The only way you can become WWE Champion or State oh, Champion is via pitfall submission. Wow! Corbin just drives Styles into the barricade. And now Ziggler leaping on the back of the low. Wow! Big man refuses to go down. Uh-oh. Things just got interactive. There's no disqualification. Triple threat rules. Oh! Baron Corbin shoulder first into the barricade. Still on his feet. Styles off the steps. Forearm across the jaw. Oh, oh man, the kick. That was by a phenomenal Ziggler. forearm by Styles. Super kick by Dolph. See, oh man, Styles and Ziggler teaming up. Baron and Challenger working together. Look, this is what Baron Corbin means. This is how big a threat Baron Corbin is. And AJ Styles and Dolph Ziggler would actually work together to get rid of the big man. They Corbin has dominated this Corbin. entire match. And he's the only way they can the take him out of it. David, you're right. Corbin has absolutely dominated his whole match. It's why Styles and, and Dolph are actually willing to work together. Oh, but that. That alliance has ended! Ooh! Back first into the apron! Ziggler looking for the opportunity! Oh. Down like DDT! Here we go! Here we go! Ziggler could become a three-time WWE oh. champion! No! I can tell you right now, whether it's Styles or whether it's Dolph, they better find a way to win this match now before this big man, Dar Baron Corbin, gets up from this wreckage in this table. Now, Baron Corbin yet to stir here at ringside after being driven through the table by Corbin both Ziggler and Styles. has destroyed everything in his past so far. And there's no count out, so Baron Corbin won't be counted out. This is urgency oh. needed by Dolph and by AJ Styles. Oh, shit, oh, shit by AJ Styles! who dominated the scene in Japan and now dominating WWE as WWE Champion. What a year it has been for the phenomenal AJ Styles. Can he end it with a successful title defense? Styles setting up the Styles Clash. He couldn't get look. it. Counter and kick out. Lands on the apron. Hey. Forearm across the jawline of Ziggler. Wow! Oh, oh. Ziggler! Can Dolph make it another night to remember? As Dolph has done so much. Roll up. Ziggler kicks and out. So many times. That's oh, it. Up. That's it. We got a new chair. You gotta be kidding me. And Baron Corbin. How close was that? How close was that, Corbin? Finally stirring, finally back in the yeah, ring. Yeah, but AJ Styles was the one that kicked out of that. Baron Corbin was coming in to try to break up that pinfall. He didn't make it in time. Styles going for the ball. was able to counter. Look at this. And this is right on the button. But yeah. this is what has won Dolph championships in the past. And look at this, AJ Styles kicked out. That was as tight as it gets right there. And yet, how much is left of Bear Corbin after being driven through the table? Ziggler taken advantage, swinging neck breaker, elbow drop, cover. <laughs> Three of the top superstars on SmackDown Live pulling out all the stops to become WWE champion or stay WWE yeah, I, I don't kingpin. Know what it's going to take to keep Baron Corbin down, but. This big man right here, it's going to be hard to cover him for a three count. He has dominated this match so far. Don't just scout Dolph Ziggler. Oh, wow. Wow. Deep six. Deep six by it's Corbin. Corbin. <laughs> and Styles ensures that this match continues. Yeah, and AJ Styles is saving his championship. 
and saving him himself a spot at the Royal Rumble with John Cena trying to make history. The stakes could not be higher. And it's breaking down into a fight. Scintillating strikes, lightning quick offense from Styles. Oh, wow! Oh, my God! And end of days, and I think that Dolph Ziggler's done it again! Unbelievable! How in the hell is Baron Corbin still in this? What a Watch thriller this. to close this. out 2016! Goes for the end of days, he gets hit by a zigzag. Baron Corbin had already been put through a table by the champion and the challenger. Finds a way to stay in this title match. And Dolph Ziggler getting the best out of that! This is an absolute career-defining performance by Baron Corbin. There have been many tremendous triple threat matches in WWE history. Tonight, the WWE wow. Championship at stake as Corbin drives Ziggler's shoulder into the post. <laughs> Baron Corbin, all the pressure in the world. He's having his the first match of his big life. title match. And you're right, he is pulling the match in his life out. But again, we cannot discount two times WWE Champion Dolph Ziggler. So Are you kidding? kidding? Ziggler That's what the best so under great what Baron Corbin is doing. Dolph's giving the WWE Universe so many incredible performances. On the is he going to give another one tonight? And he just had his bells jingled there by Baron Corbin. Ziggler's still on his feet, however. End of days! He just put the exclamation point on the greatest first year for any WWE superstar. AJ Styles closes out 2016 WWE Champion. Yes, he did, but also you have to appreciate Baron Corbin's efforts. This guy dominated all night, but it was AJ Styles who was able to capitalize. You aren't kidding. It looked like Baron Corbin right here was about to become the oh. WWE Champion. You had an end of days on AJ Styles. You had a zigzag by Dolph Ziggler. How amazing was Ziggler? It was so close. And again, Baron Corbin looks to be WWE Champion. Oh, and the the forearm to put the exclamation point on one of the greatest years in WWE history by AJ Styles. And following their instant classic at SummerSlam, it will be AJ Styles and John Cena again, John. Speaking of the 15-time WWE Champ. Yeah. 